Hi, it's Teresa Judice. Welcome to my cooking channel, Cook With Love. Today is a bonus recipe. I don't have this in my cookbook. Get stuffed manigotte, and if you don't want to use the manigotte, you can use large shells instead. So um, I love making this. Um, also, you could make regatta um, raviolis. That's in my cookbook. So I can't wait to make this with you guys. This is fun. It's a fun recipe. So let's get started. Oh my God. I'm not eating it. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in the Sunday sauce. Oh my God, stop! Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right, go up, up, up. <laughs> so I already have the water boiling, so I'm gonna put the manigot in the water. Um, so that could cook while I make the stuffing. Yeah, so you don't wanna cook it too long in the water because um, then you don't want them to break as you're stuffing them. So these are gonna cook for a little bit and then we're gonna run cold water on them. So let's start making the stuffing. See, I say stuffed manicotti, but I guess the American way to say it is stuffed manicotti. I only know how to say it my way, stuffed manicotti. So I grew up making these with my mom. I remember stuffing um, the manicotti and also stuffing the shells. We would make it, my mom would make it homemade and uh, sometimes we would buy the manigotti already made. So this is fun. You can make this with your children. They'll love it or with your honey. So, so we're gonna start off right now with the regatta. So we're gonna put it in the bowl just like this. So anyone out there that's watching their weight, you could also, um, if you don't wanna use um, the regular regatta, you could use the skim regatta with less reduced fat. So add the ricotta. So I'm gonna add the Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese right here, like this. And then I have the pepper, like that. And then the salt, like that. Parsley, right here, like this. Okay, one egg. I'm gonna check on the shells, I think they might be done. Okay, yep, yep, they are done. Let me get the pot holders. Okay, and run cold water. Yep, run the cold water on them. The reason why you're gonna run cold water on it is you want, you want it to stop cooking. You don't want the shells to be too soft when you stuff it with the filling. Okay, so we've got this. This again is a very impressive dish. Everybody's gonna, when you put it on the table, they're like, everyone, it's impressive. Like, oh my God, she took hours to cook this. And, and it doesn't, it's really quick and easy. So, all right, so I, I had the ricotta, the salt, the pepper, the um, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, one egg. So now we're gonna chop up the spinach. Let me grab my chopper. You could, I guess you could do it with a knife, but I love my chopper. Okay. So you just stuff it in there. I love how fine it, it gets. Okay. Like that. Okay, and there it is. So this filling you can use for raviolis, tortellinis, um, stuffed shells. I'm using it today, of course, as you guys know, for mandicot. You can use this for lasagna. Also, again, for lasagna. And you know what I love about it? That um, the spinach is, is chopped up so fine. Done. Okay, we're gonna.
get the tray right here. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, first we're gonna start with the sauce. I'm gonna put the sauce on the bottom of, of the tray, just like that. And spread it out. Again, quickie sauce. So you could use it with so many recipes. You could stuff the shells either with a little espresso teaspoon, because that's how I used to do it with my mom. But I'm gonna try doing it this way today. You, and you could get this anywhere in your local supermarket in the baking section. Okay, so I'm gonna stuff the filling into the piping bag. Just like this. Okay. So then I'm gonna take the shell. Okay, like this. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna grab a bowl. Oh, Melania. Hi, Melania. Mom. Yes, honey. I got pulled over. Mom, yes, honey. I got pulled over. Are you, I got pulled over. Are you serious? Yeah. No, Melania, please don't. No. Like, I got, I, are, you, are you playing a trick on me again? Yeah. What? It's like a five. Wait, what happened, honey? Hello. Hello? Yes, honey. It's like a freaking big ticket because I was speeding. What? How? Oh, what, how yeah. fast are you? Go how fast are you going? Like sixty, like a five. Melania, are you kidding me? All right, all right. So, all right. What do you? I mean, there's nothing we could do now. Well, what are you gonna do? Tell the officer you're sorry. I'm just messing with you. Oh my god. Big <laughs> dog. Oh my god. I'm gonna kick your. Like, look, Gabrielle, you, like, Gabrielle was like, oh my God, you're making me and Gabrielle upset. All right, you need to, yeah. you, wait, you need to go to yeah, church and, and you need to knock on wood, pray to God. I keep cutting out, but I'm just playing with you. A girl doesn't get pulled over as fly as me. <laughs> All right, please pray to God and make sure that doesn't happen anymore, okay? <laughs> just pray to God and say, God, I'm sorry, I'm playing tricks on my mom. I know, I mean, you're lucky, you're not, Giving me a heart attack. I told you I'm getting older. We don't we don't need a heart attack, God forbid, to happen, okay? <sighs> All right. All right. I love you too. I'm making stuff by God to I'm gonna stuff by you. Okay. All right. All right, I love you. I right, love you. All right, bye. All right, be careful. Please obey the rules, my honor man. Okay, so I'm putting the manicot in a bowl instead of keeping, you know, go putting my fingers in this water. So I think this is a good thing to do. Just go. Oh, and I, I took them off at the perfect time. They feel just right. Okay, so we have this ready like this, and then I would co cover it with your hand underneath so you don't the regatta doesn't come through, and you just squeeze away. Yeah, that's it. And I feel it on the bottom coming out, and here it goes. And then you just place it down just like that. Okay. And then just squeeze it. See, I see it filling up just like that. Okay. Just like that. This is fun. But you know what? I, I want to use Italian little espresso spoon. That's how I used to make it with my mom. Okay, so guys, this is what I used to use with my mom. Or, or you could maybe use even a little bigger one. And I like this. Just like that. Yeah, I mean, listen, guys, there's different ways of doing things. I just like to do it the traditional way, the way my mom taught me. Listen, I guess it's a little messy doing it this way. But it's okay if some of the ricotta comes out because out of the shell, because it's all going, you know, it's gonna, it's mixing in with the sauce on the bottom of the tray. I remember making these with my mom and stuffing them. It's like, you know, it's, it was fun. And as a kid, like this is so exciting to make. Sorry guys, I'm stuck in the old fashioned way of doing things. And I like that, I like it. I like my roots. So I'm teaching you guys the way I was taught to do it. Oh my God, this looks so good. I can't wait for the kids to try this today.
when I'm filming this, this is dinner, this is lunch, so this is great. And they come down and they're like, what's for, you know, because when they know I'm filming this, they're like, oh my God, what are you making today? So it's a treat for them too. So we stuffed all the shells. Okay, so let's just like that, make this one a little flat. Okay, so that now we're gonna pour um, the sauce on top, just like this. Pour the sauce like that. Okay, and then we put the mozzarella cheese on top, just like that. So I have my oven preheated at 350 and we're gonna put it in for like 25, 30 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I love making recipes that I grew up making with my mom. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Make sure you tag me. Make sure you like and subscribe my channel. And I can't wait to see you next time. Tanti baji. Mwah.